<laughs> okay, what's up guys? Moshe Karnikov from Krav Maga Fight Tips from Israel. Today I'm with an extremely important guest, and Dan, he's a professional fighter on the ground. He's doing Jiu-Jitsu almost uh, 30 years almost. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and he teaches Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, which we're going to hear all about. I'm sure you guys heard of it a little bit, and we're going to hear about a little bit from Dan right now. And also why it's important for those who want to defend themselves to know how to fight on the ground. Okay, yeah, first I want to address an issue that I often hear. People will say, uh, look, you know, I, I've been, I devoted 20, 30 years in my art, and I'm an expert at stand-up fighting, be it, you know, karate, taekwondo, muay thai, boxing, kickboxing, whatever. And I'm an expert at the stand-up stuff. So why do I want to take the guy down? I can just finish the fight standing up. If you can finish the fight standing up, great. I have nothing against that. But what if you wind up on the ground against your will even? Now, Muay Thai fighters understand that because there are takedowns in Muay Thai. They don't continue to fight on the ground, but there's still takedowns there. So I could wind up on the ground against my will, number one, in which case I have to know how to fight there. There's another very important reason, however. You know, all of these sports, um, be it boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, all these contact sports in stand-up have weight divisions. Because in striking arts, weight divisions are very important. And uh, so if I'm going to go up against somebody larger, stronger, faster, more athletic, younger, whatever, uh, and do I really want to trade punches with this guy? And so, and if we take an example, um, go look at the Olympics, right? Look at somebody, a, a, a world champion javelin thrower, and you see how he'll run and he'll launch that javelin and just throw it at astronomical distances. Ask that same Olympic athlete to throw the javelin from his knees, and then ask him and see how far it goes. Then ask him to sit down on his tuchus and throw it and see how far it goes. And then ask him to lie down on the ground and throw that javelin. What happens is, every time you take a joint out of the equation, you remove power from the strike. Right? Any boxing coach will tell you the power of a right cross doesn't come from the arm. The arm gives it the final snap. The power comes from the body, from uh, the whole body mechanics, right? Starts at the ground, goes through all of the joints, but it's mostly lower body on the punch. So if you take away all of that, you've taken away his striking power. So if we go, for example, to a situation where, um, for example, if you lie down, <clears throat> and let's put the head up towards the camera. Okay, now from here, uh, let's say uh, I have underneath me a world champion boxer, Moshe Konikov. <laughs> he is an expert at martial arts himself, so I don't even need to use somebody else as an example. I can use him. He has a lot of power in his punches. Okay, I know that. Um, experience. Now, when he's punching up from the ground, though, look at this. How many joints does he have? He's got this joint from the shoulder, plus he's punching against the ground. If he's facing a larger, stronger opponent, which I am not, respective to Moshe, but if he's facing somebody larger and stronger, look at this, I've got my whole body coming down into that punch. Plus, the hips give me the reach over him because I have the mounted position. So instead of using the strength of my strike, if I have a larger opponent over me, you know, that's not going to work. So what do I do? I first, I hug. I clinch. Okay, now, can he punch it? I drive the weight forward. Can he punch me? Yes, but not with a lot of power. Okay, so from there, that's the basic UPA. The first move that I learned, actually, from a private lesson that Hoyon Gracie himself gave me, from his garage in Hermosa Beach in 1981. And at that time, I didn't have the sense to understand what he was offering me. 
And it wasn't until 1994 that I really started studying, uh, learning uh, jiu-jitsu. But right there, what I just did, okay, doesn't matter if I'm Mike Tyson, if I'm from this position, I don't have a power. So the first thing I do is I hug, see that? So, and I drive him forward with my feet. So I don't even let him sit back and start punching me. Because one punch might be all it takes to finish me off right here, knock me unconscious, and then that's it. So as soon as he sits back, or as soon as he even gets mounted, I hug, and I keep his weight on his hands by driving with my feet and lifting up with my hip. Now, if I'm keeping his hands busy with weight, then it hinders his ability to punch me, right? Because I've got your weight on there. You've got heavy hands. I climb up to my head is the level where he is. And I can either, he's already uh, hugging me here, I can either go to this side immediately, or if I see him already going to punch me from there, go ahead and he goes to punch, I might just wrap. And then I reach, and that's the upa. That's the basics to really learn how to do that. I want you to come and uh, take a lesson with us at Gracie Jiu Jitsu Fa Esion, uh, or there are other Brazilian Jiu Jitsu schools around in Israel if we're too far away. You also have GracieUniversity.com that uh, you can check out and you can get a group of training partners and just train on the internet and still give us a shout out and come. And if you live you know, in a lot or somewhere real far away, you can still come and train with us periodically. But, uh, well, thank you so much. Yes. That was one way to get out of the mount position. Yes. But there's many more. Many more. Yeah. And if my opponent, uh, like Moshe Konikov, is sophisticated, then I may need several of those to get out. But that's a very good start way for just somebody in the street that's trying to punch me if I'm on the bottom. And, and maybe in the future we'll do even other more techniques of getting out other ways of getting out of the mountain different uh, cool, important stuff sounds good so guys have a great day leave your comments down below thank you so much for done make sure you follow gracie jiu-jitsu at farcion and uh, make sure you train and stay safe guys all right thank you very much bro <laughs> okay <laughs>